Hello my friends, I'm back with another entertainment tip, so what we all have enough now is time because we're stuck at home, or at least a lot of, of us, so I thought reading would be a good uh, idea again <laughs> because usually we don't have enough time to read, so I wanted to recommend you a few really great books I read recently and all of them are in English. Uh, because I usually buy books when I'm traveling, so most of my books are in English language and I want to recommend you a few good books. Uh, the first one I want to talk about is this one by Michael McCann. It's called Burnt Out, How the Troubles Began. I bought this book recently when I've been to Belfast and it's really a great book because it's from a a neutral uh, point of view and it really gives an all good overview about how the whole situation uh, started and escalated between the British troops, the Protestants and the Catholics or the yeah, the Nationalists, and, uh, sorry, the, the, the Republicans and uh, the Loyals and in Northern Ireland, it's really a great, interesting book to understand the troubles. Another great book I bought in Oxford. Uh, it's written by Simon Winchester, and it's called "The Meaning of Everything." And actually, it's the the history of the Oxford Dictionary. It's an amazing book. I really enjoyed reading it. The next one. It's a very controversial but really interesting book. It's called The Hundred Year Marathon uh, by Michael Pillsbury. And actually it tries to tell the plan behind uh, China's strategy and how China tries to replace uh, America as global superpower. Um, the discussions are very <laughs> controversy, but controversial, but I think it's worth reading this book. The next one I also bought in Belfast. It's called Titanic Minute by Minute. It's a very interesting book. Also with some interesting pictures. And actually it tells the whole story of, of the Titanic minute by minute. It's, it's really, it's a very, very interesting book written by Jonathan Mayo. And the last book is called The Great Arch by John Kay. And I mean, the title tells it all. It's a dramatic tale of how India was mapped and Everest was named. So for people who are interested in geometry, I think this is a must read. So this was my entertainment tip for today let me know what you think about these books maybe you've read it maybe you're planning to read it please stay safe stay healthy and take care about yourselves and your families